about Europe. About 4,000 miles away from the United States sits the continent of Europe. Europe is bordered by the Mediterranean Sea on the south, Asia on the east, the Arctic Ocean on the north, and the Atlantic Ocean on the west. Europe is made up of 50 countries, and all 50 of those countries fit inside an area that's relatively the same size as the United States. Even though Europe is the second smallest continent on Earth, it has the third highest population, with 742 million people living there. Europe is densely populated. The definition of the word dense means closely compacted. So, in many of the countries in Europe, people live close together. Instead of individual houses with yards, many people live in apartment buildings. The smallest country in Europe and the world is the Vatican City. This is a tiny country located inside another country. Vatican City is in Rome, Italy. It is owned by the Roman Catholic Church and is home to the Pope. Vatican City is less than a quarter of a square mile or only about 109 acres. Istanbul in Turkey has the biggest population in Europe with 14.5 million people. It is located on two continents, Europe and Asia. Besides the many diverse people living in Europe, it is also home to a variety of wildlife. Deer, rabbits, hedgehogs, lizards, wolves, brown bears, and bison live there. However, the amount of land where these creatures can live is very limited because so many people live in Europe. Because of that, many local animals are in danger of extinction or have already gone extinct. There are different climates in the various regions in Europe. Those climates determine the kind of plant life that can be found in each area. For example, in the Mediterranean region, palm trees, citrus trees, and beautiful flowers grow. While in places like Bosnia and Slovenia, it is a lot colder, so fruit trees are less common. Instead, trees such as fir, spruce, pine, and oak grow there. The Alps are the highest and biggest mountain range system in Europe and a famous geographical feature. They stretch across eight alpine countries for approximately 750 miles. Another well-known geographical feature in Europe is the Danube River. It is the second longest river in Europe. The river flows through 10 different countries. It is the most important commercial waterway on the continent. It is used by cargo ships carrying supplies to and from the various countries. Humans first appeared on the European continent about 35,000 BC. Ancient Greece and the Roman Empire were two great civilizations that you've probably heard of. Both of those civilizations came out of Europe. Europe is also known for the Industrial Revolution, which started in Great Britain during the 1700s. This was a time when people who were used to farming and making things by hand began using machines to make things instead. The machines made work easier and faster. During the 1900s, two of the biggest wars in history, World War I and World War II, took place mainly in Europe. And more recently, beginning in 1993, 28 countries in Europe joined together to form something called the European Union. Some of its purposes are to promote peace, fight prejudice, encourage development in technology and science, and protect the environment. In Europe, they use the euro for currency. This is another name for money. Nineteen of the countries in Europe use the euro. 
Now that you know a little bit about the continent of Europe, let's look at some of the countries found inside Europe. Most of the country of Russia is part of the Asian continent, but a small part of Russia is located in Europe. Even though that part is small, it's still bigger than any other country in Europe. Some islands in Europe are also countries like Malta, Cyprus, Iceland, and Great Britain. The United Kingdom includes England, Scotland, Wales, and North Ireland. Some of the places you may have heard of in the United Kingdom are Big Ben, Stonehenge, and the Buckingham Palace, where the Queen lives. One of the things that Sweden is known for is having the world's first ice hotel. The hotel is made from snow and ice and rebuilt each year. Famous artists, architects, and designers are invited yearly to design rooms in the hotel. It is only open for a couple of months before it begins to melt. Italy is known for its boot shape. The capital of Italy is Rome, which is where the famous Colosseum is located. The Colosseum is an ancient arena built in 70 AD. It is similar to our sports arenas today. The Colosseum could hold about 50,000 people. The people would come watch gladiators fight and other competitions in the arena. Italy is known for its ancient architecture, delicious food like pasta and pizza, and famous sites like Michelangelo and the Sistine Chapel. Germany is home to the famous Berlin Wall, which was put up in 1961 and torn down in 1989. Some important historical people who came from Germany are Einstein, Bach, Mozart, and Gutenberg. Germany is known for tragic events associated with Nazis and World War II. But it is also known for beer, cars, delicious breads, castles, classical music, and more. Some famous sites in Europe include the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, the Acropolis in Athens, Greece, the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy, the Cliffs of Moor in Ireland, Sagrada Familia in Spain, and St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow, Russia. With more than 50 countries and a wide variety of languages, the continent of Europe is quite diverse. Each country provides a unique experience for its citizens and the millions of tourists from around the world who visit Europe yearly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. For more educational resources, click the link below.